Our good friend uh, Rob Caron is here from uh, Orkin, Canada. How are you? Very good, Kirk. Yourself? Uh, very good, thank you. It's been a different year for the bug. Hey? It has been a wonderful different year for bugs, if you want to call it, for us and for the bugs. Less mosquitoes, for sure. A few less mosquitoes, but uh, those ponds are still st stagnant out there. When ponds are stagnant, there's no movement. Those mosquitoes will have a tendency to want to breed uh, in those ponds. Our catch basins are dry, which is good news. So around the city, we're not going to see as many mosquitoes. But if you go out in the outlying areas where we have ponds, uh, where there's no sprinkler system in the pond, yeah. mosquitoes will tend to want. So the standing multiply. water is where they. Standing water do their is thing. the kick kicker for mosquitoes. Yeah. Yes. Are you getting less uh, people calling about uh, bug problems this year? Or? Oh, as a matter of fact, no. Uh, we still get a lot of bugs. This heat is still, uh, you know, we're still thriving. The bugs mm. are out there. Uh, uh, flies are bad, uh, especially uh, with the composting uh, that we're doing around the city yeah. a little more. Listen, uh, deer flies and house flies. Holy smokes, the deer flies. They're evil. They'll eat you alive. They will eat you. They are carnivores. Yeah, like I they was will bite you. They'll bite you right, right through you. They yeah. will make you bleed. <laughs> and they hurt. And the house fly seems to be prevalent. Yeah. Again, the house fly will, uh, if we leave any decaying material lying out, they will multiply. Uh, definitely. Yeah. What about wasps and that sort of thing? Is it a good year for them? Uh, another good year for wasps, yes. I brought a few attractants. These are good for around your backyard, around the patio. You want to keep it away from the patio. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's an attractant. Right. So right. when we're having that cocktail outside, make sure you cover your cocktail drink. They love the sweetness of uh, any drink. They'll go right in there. They'll go right in there. So they, yeah. Yeah, and and they'll hang around until they. Get... So if you cover it, they don't smell it, or exactly, they're not attracted to the sweet, and they'll go elsewhere to look for uh, for some feeding. Right, but a good a good thing to have one of these around. A few of those around, here. yes. Is that right? Yeah. What about this uh, one shot deal? I have some of this for other bugs. Yeah, that product's an excellent product. You can find that in any, any garden store or whatnot. If you have an active nest and you want to get rid of it and you want to do it on your own, this product can be purchased and you do it. It's a foam. It's a, like a shaving cream yeah. and it covers the entire nest and you will get good results. I have a, a dog that catches flies, but I can't, he can't get them all and these are always handy. Hey? Those are always handy. I know these you are, love those. So I brought those special thanks. for can you. Can I have one of these? Absolutely. Because I, I can't find the one I had and the, uh, Henry, the little, uh, little dog, can only catch so many. Only so many. You know? Can you jump high again? Yeah, yeah, he's good at that. He yeah. tracks them down. There you and go. then he plays with them. Like they're on their deathbed and he plays with them. Again, uh, that's another good product what here. What is this? It's a fly bag. There's an attractant that goes into that. Uh, in here, you add water to it. And again, keep it away because it does have a, a distinctive smell. So you keep it away from your patio. And it'll attract the flies away. You can actually smell it through, through the bag right now, right? Oh, you do. It smells yeah. a little bit like fish. Yeah. It's fish eggs and fish. Uh... But it is an attractant. And that's what makes it have a scent, right? Exactly. What if you have a real severe problem when it comes to... to flies and bugs and all that sort of thing. Can we call you guys and you can come in? You can call Orkin at any time, absolutely. We'll come out, we'll do an inspection of your home. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll make recommendations of what to do on how to prevent these, these insects from entering your home. Right. And right. Uh, we'll make suggestions. Problem is, once they get in there, they're tough to get out, and that's where you guys come in, right? That's where we come in, exactly. Or people don't want to deal with wasps and that sort of thing. I don't blame them. A little tricky. Yeah, we're equipped to do all that stuff, so I'd be calling we'd be more than happy to. I mean, I don't mind the odd swatting of a fly, but to wasp and that sort of thing, no thanks. No thanks, eh? No. Well, that's what we're here for. Anyway, problem solved. Thanks, my friend. You're very welcome. Good to have you here.